Last night during a live stream that we were doing covering the latest uh, news, um, Jason Whitlock appeared on the Tucker Carlson show. Jason Whitlock is uh, his background is as a sports journalist, but he's become kind of like a Christian right wing uh, nut commenting on politics. And his entire appearance on the Tucker Carlson show lasted uh, under three minutes. And basically, Tucker Carlson just teed up Jason Whitlock to uh, go on a very strange anti transgender word salad, which Tucker Carlson seemed to absolutely love. Th this is quite literally insanity. This it sounds like a crazy person talking. Listen to this. Beware all euphemisms. They're always a cover for lying and misdeeds. Gender affirming care. That's a phrase you're seeing everywhere, including conservative media to their great shame. What is gender affirming care? Well, it's castrating children. It's exactly what it is. And it's become finally, or it's becoming illegal in some states, but of course activists are trying to circumvent the law. The rule, the rule of law. So the person behind the site or the Twitter feed libs of TikTok just unearthed evidence of a drug smuggling operation aimed at young children. Libs of TikTok found this online post from someone called Eli Ehrlich, he says he's a PhD student at UC Santa Cruz, quote, if anyone needs hormones who can't get access, message me, Ehrlich wrote. I have a network with years of extra doses. Now, understand the right is getting a lot of mileage from anti trans rhetoric. If you looked at if you watched the clips from CPAC a couple of weeks ago in Texas, the biggest applause lines and standing ovations were for overtly homophobic and transphobic assertions. And that's why they're all picking up on it now. Ehrlich said he wants to send these drugs to, quote, trans youth. Now, that's a crime, of course, but needless to say, the DOJ has refused to investigate. Jason Whitlock is the host of Fearless. He joins us tonight to assess what's going on. So the DOJ, there is an effort to give drugs illegally to kids that will castrate them, but the Department of Justice is not interested. No, they're not interested because anything that has to do with gender identity, anything that has to do with diversity, equity and inclusion, they're all for. And, and Tucker, I'm going to go really big picture here. But but and I've said this before, but all of this to me is just satanic. The That's right. Guys, this is Satanism. It's it's absolutely Satan. I'm sorry. It's not Satanism. It's the work of the devil is what Jason Whitlock believed. What a great analysis on a major cable network. Targeting. Yes of young people and children that are very impressionable at a very early age. And now we got someone trying to sell them uh, puberty blockers or hormones that will change their identity. And, and it all goes back to this country was founded by people who believed our rights came from God. If they believe that, they also believe that that belief should have nothing to do with civil government, which is a little detail Jason Whitlock leaves out. And when I look at the left, they want to disrupt that founding principle, that this is a, a country founded on biblical principles. What he means is the left wants separation of church and state as the founders wanted as well. They want to disrupt all of that. And what we're going through right now, Tucker, is a process called sifting. And it's in the Bible. One of the last things Jesus said to his disciples, Luke. This is supposed to be a, an, an analysis about policy. Understand the insanity. And Tucker looks confused, but Tucker likes this. This is supposed to be an analysis about policy. And he's talking about sifting in the Bible. Chapter 22, verse 31, he tells Peter, he calls him Simon, says the devil wants to sift you. The sifting process is separating us. It's all these different identities that they've invented in our lifetime. Cisgender, uh, non-binary, you're a Republican, you're black, you're white, you're gay, you're lesbian, you're this, you're that. We're all being separated. And our founders saw us as all coming from one creator. It's really funny when the people espousing the divisive rhetoric bemoan that the country is divided. It's a real irony. And even for non-believers, that founding worked for all of us. But as we're being separated like wheat, we're that's why there's so much divisiveness in this country. Jason Wolf, the only person who would say that on TV, and we're grateful that you did. Good wow. What what courage it took for Jason Whitlock to show up on Tucker's show and give us this bizarre anti trans religious nuttery word salad. But imagine watching this episode last night and thinking, wow, Jason Whitlock really nailed it. Sadly, there are millions of people 
who will watch that segment and say, this guy really speaks the truth. And that's a very, very scary thing.